and last but not least, Jay's Bellerin. Welcome back to the Cooking Company. Today we're reviewing the Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection. These are six inch action figures from Funko. Um, there he is, Jace, the blue guy. Here he is, the Mind Sculptor in the flesh. And if you can notice, he's totally blue. I think he has something, I think it's his favorite color or something. Because his whole body is blue. With a few exceptions, he got all this white little rune kind of stuff going on here. I don't know what's it all about. And he's got little, um, let's see, he's got this uh, soft little shoulder shield thingy. So you can pull his arm up. This one on his arm, not soft. It is hard. Hard. And all these little details, little metal with the red uh, designs on them. Really cool looking, but all hard. Except for this one. This one's a little bit kind of soft. And it's got little, like, buckles or something. Whoops. Little buckles and stuff here on the side. So you can see all those stripes. Um, etched into his chest and torso area. Um, this one right here, starting right here, it is also soft. This whole jacket is that that soft material, rubbery material. So all along the white areas up here it's soft, but obviously it's been glued down. So uh, His tabard, all soft and stretchy. And you can lift it up and see absolutely nothing. He's wearing kind of like, I guess like chaps or something that you would call it. In the back, a little skirt, it just flips up by itself. Nice blue butt. <clears throat> it's got little like weird designs. He's got like these uh these little rivets that you can actually feel them. Uh, and then in between them it goes like little oval shapes. And it is kind of darker inside the oval shape, so I thought that was cool. Um, and then he's wearing these thick pants, and that's about it does have a little bit of lines going down in the black area on his thighs and like double double lines there that's about it for that so articulation uh, his hair comes off his emo little hair which is also blue just painted uh, brown you can see from the inside it is originally blue his head looks disgusting I don't even like the face or anything it looks totally stupid Somewhat better with the hair, but still stupid. Just look, look at that side profile. I, I just hate that. Um, he does manage to look up ever so slightly. So that's one good thing about him. He can actually look up. He looks down. And of course it swivels all the way around. Shoulders go up just like anybody else. Um, bicep swivel. Single jointed. Uh, not so much hampered on this side, but again hampered on the other because the gauntlet is so much bigger. Uh, let's see, that's as far up as it's going to go. Hands, they are on the peg with a blue wrist joint. You can see that it's blue. goes slightly in and out, but the gauntlet just goes way too far up his wrist to really utilize that. It does swivel in place though. So the only two flesh colored areas on him is his hand and his face, his head. Um, this one does swivel in place. Kind of testy there. And I think you can push it in and out ever so slightly, but not, not to the degree that the other hand can. The uh, chest articulation, you can swivel it quite easily. You can still feel that resistance though. Um, I couldn't really manage to get it to go in and out very far. Or even side to side. It does not move side to side at all for me. The splits, it, this is as far as he can go. At least he doesn't have a full skirt like every single other character did. Uh, so obviously because of the butt issue, it doesn't go backward. I guess that's the trouble I had with all of them. It does go forward pretty far. Swivels at the upper thigh. Double jointed knee, they're big and thick like a wrestler with those pants. But at the most, you're going to have trouble uh, bending that upper joint. At first, I was only able to bend the bottom joint. But I guess now after working it a little bit, I'm able to do both. The feet, they feel like they're on pegs, you know, I mean, they're attached somehow. But I can't really get any range of motion out of them other than these little twitches. 
it, it twitches, but it's not really a frame of range of motion, and I can't spin them in place 360. I, I just can't. I have to. You have to use the thigh articulation for that. And he does come with one accessory, which you probably saw in the beginning. The cape. And what's wonderful about this cape is that it comes off by itself, and I think it's supposed to come off. It even takes the hair on with it. Look, it's stuck in there. It's nice and smooth on the inside. I don't see any trace amounts of glue or anything in there, so I'm going to say, say it's safe to say that it is removable. Uh, the bad thing is that mine has a little split right at the neck. You can see that. I was really mad about that because I didn't even touch it. It just popped out of the box, and the first thing I see is, what the? <sighs> It does have that little uh, detail like the rest of the body does, so it does match all around. And here you see Jace in with the man's group in between a Johnny and Garrick. Looking good, fellas. Looking good. That cape, it's so nice and thick, but it does make him back heavy, so you got to have to lean him forward a little bit. Yep. Looking good, fellas.